Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. As you all know, on this channel, we cover different type of interview question asked in various placement and job interviews. So subscribe to our channel if you want to prepare for your upcoming interviews. The question is, can you tell which one of the two terms is greater? A lot of people will say that the power has more influence. So 49 to raised to the power 51 will be bigger. But by this analogy, 2 raised to the power 4 should also be greater than 3 raised to power 3, right? But that is not true. We can come up with some graph and point and define the point of intersection when the other function take over to the other function. Let's go deeper into that solution. I am giving you 5 seconds to think about this question and have some initial approach ready. I hope you have an approach ready to tackle this question. Let's see how we can go about this. Let's assume a term x equal to 50 raised to the power 50 divided by 49 raised to the power 51. Yeah, this is term x. Here I am writing 50 raised to the power 50 divided by 49 raised to the power 50 multiplied by 1 by 49. I just took out one term of 49 so that it is 49 raised to the power 50 multiplied by 49. Right? Now let's write this 50 as 1 plus 49 divided by 49 raised to the power 50. We can write this term. right? Multiply by original 1 by 49. Here what we have done is split it 50 into 1 plus 49. Nothing else. Now we can write the above term in this way. 1 plus 1 by 49 raised to the power 49 multiplied by 1 plus 1 by 49 multiplied by 1 by 49. So what we have done is we have splitted this term. 49 by 49 that is 1 plus 1 by 49 raised to the power 49 and we have taken out 1 1 plus 1 by 49 away. And this was the original term which we are getting from above. So seeing this expression, are you remembering something? Some high school concept we have studied in the 10th or 12th class will be applied here. Uh, limit n tends to infinity 1 plus 1 by n raised to the power n. This will approach to e when n tends to infinity. Here n is not tending to infinity but this kind of approach we can take here because 49 is a kind of big number and the number will be closely around e and the value of e is around 2.71. right? Now what we can do is like we can calculate the value of x by multiplying the term 2.71 that is e multiply by multiply by 50 by 49 multiply by 1 by 49. Now you can calculate the value of x right. This means x is less than 1 and that means 49 raised to the power 51 is greater than 50 raised to the power 50. This was the approach to solve this problem. So this question has been asked in various placement interviews and job interviews. So have some approach ready and you will sail through. I hope you have learned something new from this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more such placement and job interview question videos. Till then, keep learning and keep watching.